Joe, thank you so much for joining me. I mean, a huge welcome to the Manchester Storm. It was a little bit of a, a bolt out the blue for Storm fans that your name was put onto the uh, protected list for the uh, upcoming Elite Series. Um, but the deal was done a little time ago. I, I believe that's right. Yeah, uh, well, back in the summer when uh, things got a bit, well, it just we didn't start hearing anything. And then I just, uh, it was kind of a quick move. Um, uh, and then that was it, really. And then we, I didn't hear anything uh, um, with the league starting. So I, I went out to Germany and played there for a little bit. Um, but now I'm back and I'm ready to go. That's right. I mean, you're a Nottingham born, Nottingham lad, spent a lot of time with uh, either the Panthers or the Lions, a, a few stints in the uh, NIHL with uh, Swindon, Peterborough. But uh, that's a big decision you've made to come up to Manchester. Why, why have you taken that uh, decision now? Um, just the ice time and development, really. Um, I, didn't, I haven't played as much as I'd have liked to over the last couple of years. Um, I was just looking for ice time. I'm just looking for the chance to play. Uh, and Ryan offered it me and that was it. Deal was kind of done there. And that's all I'm looking for. Just I just want to play on the ice regular um, and hopefully build and develop further. I guess almost taking a bit of a page out of perhaps Paul Swindlehurst's uh, book. I know he was a Manchester lad, but he developed down at the Panthers. And I think he was also struggling for that ice time and came to Manchester and he had a couple of great seasons with us and went over to Belfast and he's, he's bloomed ever since. Yeah, exactly. And it's just, you know, you look at all the D-men in the, the Elite League now, they've all gone to places to play and get regular ice time. And I, I think coming to Manchester has given me a great opportunity and I'm just looking forward to it. What do you know about perhaps playing for Ryan Finnessy? Because I know that you came highly recommended to him uh, by Corey Nielsen. Those two get on quite well and they're often chatting. You obviously played for Corey a couple of years ago, I think. But uh, did you get any feedback on Ryan? Anything you want to share? Um, not really. I just spoke to uh, Finn and he had nothing nothing bad to say. And uh, he said um, Manchester was a great place to come and play. Um, that I've heard nothing but good things. Um, so I'm just, yeah. I haven't heard much about him, but um, I'm just excited to play. I'm sure I'll, I'll deal with it well. What's, um, what, are you, what are your memories from playing in Manchester and playing against Manchester, perhaps both at the Storm Shelter and at the NIC, two very different size ice pads? Um, well, the, obviously the rink's a little bit smaller in Manchester, but every time I've, I've been up there to play, the, the building's been loud. Um, even in midweek games, the fans was... Uh, loud and it just just an exciting exciting place to play obviously it's a little bit smaller rink um but no I, I just remember it being really loud the fans seem to be great so hopefully uh they'll take me as take to me as well you mentioned it there about you this uh this year you went over and played over in germany how was that i mean that's a I mean, that's probably a bigger move than coming up to manchester to be quite honest a, a lot of very different culture uh different language how did you get on uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. I, I was a little bit worried. It was my first time moving away from home and looking after myself. Uh, it was probably the off-ice I was more worried about. Um, but no, I enjoyed it. Again, Corey was out there. Um, he, I live right across the street from him and he looked after me really well. Um, it was good. I played a lot of games. Uh, I managed to play with the DL2 side in uh, pre-season and just really enjoyed it. Just the just the culture. The culture was a lot different to, well, Nottingham and probably Manchester. It was a quiet town, uh, just the supermarket and the ice rink, really. So there wasn't there wasn't much to do. Um, but no, again, it's a, a great life experience and uh, I'm really glad I did it. I don't think you're going to struggle for things to do in Manchester, that's sure. And Altrincham is a cracking little spot to be. Um, Perhaps the, the fans that aren't uh, familiar with your game, what are, what are we getting? Uh, what's, uh, how would you describe your style of play? Um, I'd like to say I'm an offensive side of D man. Um, I like to join in the rush pretty, pretty much whenever I can. Um, a good first pass and that's pretty much me. Um, I need to obviously build on the, my body, um, uh, come stronger and faster and everything defensive side of the game, but I'm sure that I'll come with, uh, age and 
yeah, that's pr- just I like, I like jumping into the play offensive side of D man. Uh, pretty much it. Quite good skater, I guess. <laughs> it sounds like you're going to really enjoy playing at the Storm Shelter then, because you know that's something that we uh, Ryan actively encourages. You know, the, the D to get involved uh, and 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 join those rushes. Yeah, yeah, that's. Well, every time we played against, well, played against Manchester, it was, I can remember uh, the D-men jumping in a lot. It was, there wasn't many positions. It was just uh, <laughs> just rolling say, about. It's kind of a, a little bit chaotic, a bit of a pinball machine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're, uh, you've you played for GB at pretty much every level there is. Uh, I mean, how was that? So obviously, you played World Championships. Those must be great experiences. Yeah. Obviously, well, any time you get to represent your country, it's uh, obviously a massive, massive pride for yourself. Um, but yeah, I love going to away with the tournaments. Uh, it's nice to play against your own age group as, as well. Um, you feel like you can offer a little bit more, maybe. Um, but no, I've yeah, ever since I've played for GB, it's been amazing. Um, going away with tournaments, hanging out with people your own age, you don't obviously get to do that as much when you're a younger guy in the elite league. Um, but yeah, build great friends, especially uh, Finn. He's, me and him have been texting him recently just with everything that's been going off. Um, I was going so to yes. ask you about that because obviously you've got that connection with Finley from the, the, those GB experiences. Uh, um, must be nice to be, uh, as you say, come up to Manchester and, and play a season or two with him. Yeah, uh, really excited. He's obviously a great guy. He's, is uh, me and him get up and really well off the ice. Just um, we're on the same wavelength. Um, but no, he's been really good ever since. Even if I just had a few little questions for him about what's going on and everything, he's been really helpful. Um, and yeah, good friend. I'm intrigued to know um, the other day when Nottingham put out a tweet basically saying that uh, you would not be protected by Nottingham because you'd uh, agreed to join another club. Um, your phone must have exploded at that point because uh, I, I know that your close family knew, but uh, not many other people did. No, yeah, my phone went pretty crazy. Um, look, I, did, I didn't want to end on bad terms with Nottingham, but uh, I didn't have any contact um, with them over the summer. So I just kind of took it that they they wasn't really interested in moving forward with me. Um, but it, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. I was... It was great, um, but you know, you got, I've got to move on and look after myself as well, and develop with ice time. It's that's the, one of the main things that I wanted. It was ice time. Uh, yeah, but my phone, yeah, my phone's never been that popular. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I wake up and all these Twitter tweets and everything like that. God, yeah, crazy. It, is, it must be quite strange as well, because obviously it, we're in strange times at the moment, but having this uh, Elite League mini-series coming up, held down in Nottingham, um, it's a, just a real pity, obviously, your your family can't come and, and watch you uh, play, but um, that still must be exciting for a Nottingham boy. Yeah, obviously, well, the NIC is obviously a great rink, and uh, growing up there, played every single game of my junior career down there, and it's, it's yeah, it's truly a massive arena and it's a massive part of my heart and obviously it's where things got going but yeah it's it's going to be a great it's good. obviously like the playoff tournament uh that happens every year I think it's going to be more of that obviously it's a shame without the fans but I don't think that will add um I think the players will still be I don't know what's the word for it uh, well, every, every every guy that I've spoken still, to so still, far I'm very excited yeah, yeah yeah they're super pumped to get going What's um? You've mentioned it there. I mean, you no secret that you've made this move up to Manchester to get some more ice time. But um, what are your aims and ambitions for this year? You say you, you want to perhaps hit the gym a bit, but uh, anything else? Um, obviously putting up a couple of points would be would be nice. Um, but yeah, just just regular ice time. I'm just looking for a chance to just prove myself. I'm sure it's ever, you know a lot of kids struggle breaking into the league but that's all they they want is just the regular ice time and that's pretty much what was offered to me and I'm just happy to take it but yeah a couple of points would be nice uh, to chip in but just regular ice time would be fun for me 
Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us. And once again, a huge welcome, welcome to the storm. Um, I'm excited. Our fans are excited and uh, I've no doubt. And I can see you're excited. So thanks, Joe. Yeah, cheers. Thank you for having me. No worries.